Hi there, Kendra Tolbert here. I'm a registered dietitian and yoga teacher, and I specialize in women's health and fertility. And this is the final video in our series all about nutrition and yoga for a quality. This video, all of the videos in this series, so this entire series, has been sponsored by Theralogix, a supplement company that I have been recommending to my one-on-one -on -one clients for nearly a decade. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about two of their supplements later in this video. This video is all about CoQ10, something that you've likely heard at least a little bit about if you've looked online, at social media, or even had a conversation with your healthcare provider about nutrition for fertility, especially if you've talked about or looked into information about supporting your egg quality. There's a reason that CoQ10 gets so much attention in the world of fertility nutrition, especially when it comes to our egg quality. It's a fat soluble compound that is found in nearly every, if not every single cell in our body. And it plays an important role in some very important functions in our body. Well, our eggs are cells. In fact, they are the largest cell in our body. One of those important roles that CoQ10 plays in our body and our cells which includes our eggs, is as an antioxidant. As an antioxidant, CoQ10 protects our eggs from oxidative damage. This is something that's incredibly important to support our egg quality, especially as we age. Another way CoQ10 is thought to support our egg quality is through its role in energy production. Our cells need a lot of energy to carry out their work and they require CoQ10 to produce that energy. And as we said, an egg is a cell. It's the largest cell in the human body. So it requires a lot of energy to carry out the very important energy intensive work of once being fertilized, developing into an embryo and eventually a fetus. We get CoQ10 from three different sources. The first source is our bodies. Our bodies produce CoQ10. The second source is food, most notably organ meats, fatty fish, and whole grains. We also can get CoQ10 from supplements, like two of my favorites by Theralogix. Theralogix is one of my go-to sources for supplements to support reproductive health. While I adore many of their products, there are two that I'm especially smitten with right now, and those are NeoQ10 and Ovavite. NeoQ10 is their coenzyme Q10 supplement. CoQ10 is one of the most studied, trusted, and recommended antioxidants for egg quality health. Their Theranatal Ovavite is their preconception supplement, which contains Theranatal Core, which is a fertility supporting multivitamin, as well as CoQ10. You can use my provider referral code 100368 for preferred pricing. You'll find the links to NeoQ10 and Theranatal Ovavite in the description box below. Thank you, Theralogix, for supporting this video and this series. I will always recommend that you have a conversation with your personal healthcare team to determine if taking any supplement is right for you. This is especially important if you are taking any medications or have a chronic condition. If after speaking with your healthcare team, you decide that CoQ10 is right for you, then there are definitely some things that you wanna keep in mind when you're taking CoQ10 so that you are getting the most out of your supplements. Number one, take your CoQ10 with a meal that contains fat. Remember how I said that CoQ10 is fat soluble? Well, because that's true, you're going to absorb more of the CoQ10 when it's in the presence of fat. Number two, consider splitting up your dose so that you're taking smaller amounts multiple times a day instead of one mega dose once a day. I typically recommend that my clients take between 200 and 300 milligrams of CoQ10 a day. If your healthcare team has recommended that you take a different amount, follow their instruction. With that in mind, it can be a good idea to split up your doses to smaller doses that you take multiple times a day, maybe around 100 milligrams each time until you meet the full amount that is recommended by your healthcare team. And that's because there is a limit in how much CoQ10 we absorb at once. So by having smaller amounts around 100 milligrams multiple times a day, instead of 200, 300, or even more at once, you might and are likely to absorb more of the CoQ10. 
Number three, choose a well-formulated supplement. As you already know, I'm a fan of Theralogic's CoQ10 products because they use the Vesey Sorb technology that increases its bioavailability. Number four, be mindful of the potential side effects of CoQ10. The side effects are rare and they tend to be mild, but they do exist. And you wanna know what they are so that if you do experience any of them, you can speak with your provider and if necessary, call the FDA to report an adverse effect. So the side effects of CoQ10 include nausea, rash, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. If you experience any of the above or anything else after starting CoQ10, talk to your healthcare team. And number five, consider taking CoQ10 earlier in the day. Some people do report experiencing sleep disturbances when taking CoQ10, so taking it earlier in the day may help to stave off insomnia. I hope that you found this video helpful and informative. Definitely make sure to check out the description box below where I have linked to the other videos in this series, as well as the links to Ovavite and NeoQ10. And of course, the description box also includes my provider referral code so that you can get preferred pricing on any of the Theralogix products on their website. I hope to see you in a future video. Until then, be well and bye for now.